Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Today is Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. Back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. As always, I am grateful. I don't take none of this for granted. At all. I don't take it for granted. I was just thinking about this. Um... I remember, because it wasn't long ago, it ain't like it was 20 years ago. A few months ago, I was happy to get 50 views in a day. I was excited. Wow, 50 people watched me today. 50 people actually took the time out of their day to watch me. And as excited as I was then, ain't nothing changed. I don't take none of this for granted, for real. I know how hard it is, how much work it takes. Some people say it's easy. All you're doing is sitting there, that's easy. Okay, you do it. So thank y'all again. That's why I can, I constantly thank y'all. Every video, it's a habit now. I, I, I wouldn't feel, I feel naked if I don't say it. Thank you. Now with that being said, I want to ask y'all a question. First, I want to run something by you and ask y'all a question. Now, again, a break from the politics. I want to talk about it. it, it I went out last night. Y'all know I love to go out on the weekend. It's the weekend, baby. So what you think? I work all week. Even if I ain't on my trucking job, I'm doing something. I'm working. So I ain't gonna work just to sit in the house and pay bills, baby. You gotta get outside and enjoy life, baby. That's all I can. So I was out last night and uh, I saw my coworker, Kenny G, right? Boss man, he a boss. The only truck he had, two or three trucks. I think he's down to one now. You know, it ain't worth having a bunch of trucks now. As a matter of fact, speaking of trucks, I was supposed to go look at two trucks today. I'm not even excited about getting another truck. I'm, I'm in position to get another truck. I dreamed about being here where I can expand and you know, like build a, a fleet of trucks will have. I don't even want it no more. When I didn't have it, I was dreaming. I wanted, I got just want to expand, you know, this and that. And that's why I'm so frustrated about the damn election and where we are, where, where we are as a country with the economy and what have you. I'm frustrated because I finally got myself, through the grace of God, not on my own, through blessings, me, t me taking advantage of the blessings God gave me and the gifts he gave me. I'm in a position now to do what I dreamed about doing. One truck at a time. Now here I go, I have a chance to get another truck. I got a co-worker who got five trucks. He want to sell two of them. Not cause there's something wrong with the trucks. Good trucks. He asked me a few months back. I was like, now nah, I'll think about it. He been at me hard to buy these trucks. Pretty much off from the damn near give them to me. Man, you ain't gotta pay for them. Just give me a few dollars and just pay me, you know, pay me when you get it. I'm telling you. A1 trucks, the problem is, what am I going to do with it? What am I going to do? Now, that's why I'm so frustrated because now I'm in a position to live my dream and I can't. I got somebody pretty much offering to give me a truck at the price and the payment of rain. They're like, man, you ain't got to put no stress on yourself to pay me. If you don't want to spend all your money right now just on giving me 15000 whatever you want, cash for the truck, you ain't got to do that. Because you can just give me a little down payment and pay me when you get it. When do they, what, since when? No. He got trucks that ain't doing him no good. He got five of them. 
He got three of them that's kind of running, you know, that he's working. The other two just sitting there. And I know they're good truck because I know the trucks. I know, I know them. I see them every day. I know these trucks. I know this ain't no somebody trying to sell me their junk. I know these trucks. The man ain't got no youth for them. It's the same way he ain't got no youth for them. I don't either. What am I going to do with it? We're in Biden and Harris economy. What am I going to do with it? And I honestly don't know who's going to win. So I still might not. I ain't got no hope. Like, I go and buy a truck and and I know cause in past times throughout my time in trucking it'll be slow but it'll pick back up. So if it was like that then I would still buy the truck and just let it sit and just have it ready for when it do pick back up. Now I'm at a point now cause this ain't normal. So I don't know if it's gonna pick back up. I don't think it's gonna pick back up. I don't think it's gonna get no better than what it is now. I think it's gonna get only get worse. Trump or Kamala is gonna only get worse. The globalists have taken over. They, they don't want America to be the way it was. And they're not gonna allow America to be the way it was. So they fighting to keep Trump out. But even if Trump get in, it's only go slow the process down just a little bit. He can only do four years. If he wins. Once he gone, it's all globalists that's left. Democrat or Republican. Look at Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney. They're that supporting the Democrat. This ain't no polit political video. I was talking about the trucks. Anyway. Oh, my coworker, which is a truck job. That way, maybe get onto the trucking thing. End up talking politics anyway. So enough of that. So I was sitting down last night at the spot with my home, Kenny G, my coworker, and it was a nice spot. This spot called Kazula's in Mobile, Alabama. They had what you call First Friday. On the first Friday of each month, they have a big shindig. Grown folks spot, no kids. And we were sitting down at the table together, looking around. He hit me on my side, I hit him on the side, he pointing, looking at the women. No, they wasn't dressed crazy, so that ain't why we were looking. But we looked at the women, he hit me, and he sees something, and I hit him if I see something. And we looked at the women, but it ain't called they dressed crazy. They wasn't dressed, they was dressed nice and classy. I gotta get to them. They were looking good. I give them their credit. Last night, they were looking. They were looking good. Beautiful black women all over the place. Now, and I can't say that without lusting and trying to holler at nobody and wanting somebody. I get credit with credit to do. I can call you beautiful and not want to be with you. I'm one of them men. You're a beautiful woman. That don't, I, that don't mean I'm trying to holler. You're a beautiful woman. You need to hear that. You might be having a bad day. Somebody might have told you you were fat, nasty, and ugly. Who knows when you're not? Never know what people are dealing with nowadays, so ain't nothing wrong with spreading a little encouragement. Hey, you're a beautiful woman. And I ain't trying to holler. I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't going to ask for your number, none of that. Keep it moving. So last night, I saw it was a bunch of beautiful women in there. So when he touched me on my shoulder for and I would touch him what we looking at. And he said, hey, you ought to make a video about it. I said, I already have, but it's been months ago. It, it probably, I don't even remember the name of the video, so you, you want me to watch it, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know which one to tell you to go watch. So I'm going to talk about it again because he asked me to last night. But what we saw, even though they were beautiful and wasn't dressed ridiculously, still dressed sexy, but not that that goofy, you know, panty shit. So, it's the twerking. Which I ain't got a problem with twerking. The twerking, the sexy dancing, the bending over, shaking the butt. I ain't got a problem with none of that either. But they doing it on other women. 
he hit me. When he see one doing it, I'm sorry, they doing it like they actually in the bed getting it on another woman. That ain't nothing they ain't never seen before and for the woman dancing like that. They dance like that in my day when I was young, but they did it on a, on a man. When I see them doing it on a man, okay, nothing to see here. No, that normal, you know, two, a man and a woman dancing. And a lot of times they get a little sexy dancing, but it's a man and a woman. Nowadays, it's woman on woman. So I asked him, How would you dance on your homeboy like that? I'm asking men. Would you twerk? Well, first of all, you're supposed to be twerking no way. But whatever dance you do, would you do it with your homeboy? Even if it ain't number the two steps, side to side. Would you get in front of your homeboy and grab his hand and two steps, side to side with your homeboy? It ain't got to be bending over twerking. Sexy dance or nothing. As a man, I don't care how close we are, how long we've been friends. I ain't for the dance with another dude. But last night, women ain't just dancing with other women. They going to bed with them on the dance floor with other women. What wrong with that big war? Well, nothing if the women claiming this. These are supposed to be straight women. Women in relationships with men. Women that are married to men. These are not those women. See, that's where the story takes a twist. At least they claim not to be these women. That's what I told him. I said, look, man. I say the majority of women out here, and I mean majority, either go like this, either full time or part time, you know, buy whatever you call it. Or if they don't, they think about it or they ain't thought about it. They fantasize about it, they imagine it. I believe that about every woman on this planet. I ain't said all y'all done did it with another bro. I believe every woman, I don't know about men. I can't speak for me. I can speak for myself. That don't even, I'm like, ugh. I don't want to touch a dude. Let alone dance with him, dance on him. A fantasize about another dude in his, you know, wood. I believe women fantasize about other women. All women. Some men fantasize about other men. Now, I don't believe all men do that, but I believe all women, even if they don't act out on it. I ain't saying all y'all done did it. I believe all women, if it ain't never wonder, I wonder how I feel to let a woman do me. Even if you ain't wondering about doing a woman, I believe every woman and wondered what it'll be like for a woman to do, you know, what she do with that mind. You done thought about it. Cause ain't no way so many women out here now that I see are comfortable doing the suspect looking stuff they doing and they don't never think about it. I told him the majority of women out here, if not all, got the tendency. Whether it be in action, Behind closed doors, them girlfriends of theirs that they always be with, them girlfriends, they ended up somewhere, some, some little ducked off hideaway motel together. Her and her girlfriend that she always hanging out with, dancing up on, hey, slapping each other on the butt, dancing. If a man did that, would anybody say, oh, they're just friends? They're just having a good time. Ain't nothing to it. Which, if you go that way, I don't care. I don't care. So I ain't downing the community. I'm talking against the people that the community talk against. The people that pretending that they not. When you are. Don't be who you are. 
Even the community don't like them kind of people that don't admit to who they are. That's what I don't like, and that's what I don't understand. How are you 100% straight, and you able to do what you do up on another 100% straight person of the same sex? If a man did that, like I said, to another man, it wouldn't be no doubt in y'all mind. I ain't talking about no twerking and nasty dancing. If you just with a homeboy, cause we say about a lot of dudes nowadays too. A lot of men, cause you go in the club now, you see men ain't hollering at no women, ain't talking to no women, ain't doing nothing. Looking around at other dudes, mean mugging, want to fight, and standing there trying to holler at a woman. And we say they suspect. You see them, a big group of dudes, bouncing around, dancing with each other. We say that's suspect. Ain't got to be twerking. So my question is, fellas and ladies, is that even if you claim straight, is it, would you do it, and why? Why do you think it's okay to be slapping another woman on her? I'm talking the woman sitting down and the woman in front of her got that bent over with that thing in her face, shaking it. I'm like, you might as well go lick it. And you straight? I wish I do. I wish my homeboy would. Stand in front of me, shaking his thing. You know, like, man, we finna, it be some furniture moving up in here. We finna tear the club up and we ain't 3 six Mafia. You come, a dude come dancing in front of me, gyrating and any kind of dance. We finna, Queen Latifah, set it off in this mother. Man, that's a little bullshit. So, that's my question. Is that, for women, if y'all done been out today, nowadays, kicking it amongst the town, and you see women, how they interact with each other, you ain't gonna tell me ain't something going on with them. I don't care how many husbands you got, how many kids you got, same way with a man can have a kid and a wife, and still be, you women can have a husband and 18 kids, and still be, Sneaking with your girlfriend. Y'all just friends hanging out girls night. It's a girls night, all right? Hey, you grown, do what you want to do. All I'm saying is, these people claiming to be straight. That's the only problem I got. Women, don't y'all have a problem with down low dudes? Don't y'all hate them? Didn't y'all say y'all don't like the down low man? Same thing. Not that you got nothing against the community. You got something against the DL. Lying to folks. That's what you got. We got a problem with the liars. So, I just want to run that by y'all. I'm going to go inside the gym. Work on my shoulders. And then chill out for the rest of the day. Y'all have a blessed day. Is it? Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.